Day three, and she's already opened it up and put it together. It is little toddler Emma with her own stocking and a present. So here she is down here. I absolutely love this hairstyle. It is super, super cute. And over here she has her stocking and then her little present. And each bag has like little extra pieces. Most Lego sets actually have those just in case like, you know, they're so little, they get lost easily. So there's a couple extra pieces. I have a Dollar Tree meal for you today and I'm calling it chicken pot pie. Although John kind of informed me that it may not actually be a technical chicken pot pie because it doesn't have the pie crust on the bottom and on the top. I just have like a biscuit mix on top to bake it that way. I don't know what that's called. So if you do tell me, but I'm just calling it chicken pot pie because it's easier. <laughs> Maybe like a deconstructed chicken pot pie. I don't know, but I use all the ingredients from the pantry aisle again because a lot of you have told me that your Dollar Tree store does not have a freezer section or a refrigerated section. So I'm trying to do more meals just like from the inner part of the store. So hopefully that will help you. This is really kind of a winter comfort kind of meal. I can see this being not really a Christmas dinner per se, but something you would definitely enjoy in the cold weather. Now I do try to make my meals as balanced as possible. I do try to put a vegetable in every main meal, but if not, I don't sweat it. I was able to find cans of mixed vegetables, which typically goes in a pot pie anyway. And if you want to, you could easily add a salad to it from items not from Dollar Tree. I wish Dollar Tree had fresh fruit and vegetables. Apparently some might, but I, have, I don't know, not here. Anyway, let's check out this new item I got at the store, which inspired this chicken pot pie, and then I'll show you how I made it. I just love coming here to see what all is new. This time around, they didn't have a ton of new things, but what I did find here in the grocery section was this package of Bisquick garlic cheddar, like biscuit mix. Never seen it before, so I was pretty excited. I, I was thinking and thinking, what could I do? What could I do? Then when I saw this, I'm like, okay, maybe a chicken pot pie sort of thing. So I bought two cans of chicken because I wanted a little bit of extra protein. Um, you can always use just one can or something different if you wanted to. And then I bought some cream of chicken soup. They also had cream of mushroom. I mean, either one of them would work just fine, but I grabbed one can of that. And then I also got some mixed veggies. They also have frozen vegetables, but I wanted to try and stick with the pantry section. This one had like corn, green beans, uh, carrots, lima beans, something like that. So standard stuff you would find in a pot pie. This was only $5. I'm hoping to serve four with it. So let's get cooking. Honestly, I am pretty excited about how easy this is. And what's even better is that I found all of these in the dry goods section. So you don't need to have a refrigerated or a frozen section at your Dollar Tree in order to get this. I'm making a mess everywhere, but nothing a washcloth can't pick up. But yes, I picked two cans of chicken because I wanted a little bit of extra protein. But if you want to save a little bit of money, you can always add one less can of chicken, or you could even replace it with another can of vegetables or basically whatever you want. Sometimes my Dollar Tree has canned turkey instead of canned chicken, and that would be a nice change for a turkey pot pie. But now I'm gonna drain these real quick and then add it to the bowl. Okay, so here's the best thing about this recipe is that it's so interchangeable. If you don't like canned chicken, you can always use your own chicken breast. You can cook it yourself, shred it, and use that. You could use a rotisserie chicken if you have one of those available. That way it's already cooked, and then you just have to shred it and then add it to this. And as far as, let's say, vegetables, you could use frozen, you could use your own fresh vegetables, and 
for the cream of chicken soup. I mean, you can make your own. There are plenty of recipes out there that'll show you how to do it. But this is just one way, and I am utilizing the Dollar Tree ingredients that we have. And I think it'll turn out pretty good. I'm actually gonna add some of my own seasonings to this. Add whatever you have at home. I am using garlic powder, onion powder, and then some pepper. I don't know that it necessarily needs salt because the cream of chicken soup and probably the biscuit mix already has some salt in it. Now this is what I am most excited about. I have never seen this at my Dollar Tree before, so I'm excited to find out what it's like. It reminds me of the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. I know Dollar Tree has little boxes of the Cheddar Biscuit Mix too, but the cool thing about this particular package is that all you need is water. Some mixes require like milk and eggs, but all this needs is water. I added a tiny bit more water because what I kind of forgot was that these are drop biscuits. So the dough was supposed to be a little bit thicker, but I wanted to thin it out a little bit so I could put it, there's the oven, so I could put it on top of the casserole stuff. Okay, let's see how this works out. Hopefully I put enough water on it and then I can get it to uh, to spread. Even, oh, of course, I would drop it everywhere. Okay, this is actually working out pretty well. Just need to make sure I cover the entire top of this casserole. And to be honest, I'm not quite following a recipe here. I looked up a couple of similar ones and they said to kind of do it like this and then bake it at 400 for about 30 minutes. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do and we'll see how it turns out. All right, that looks pretty well coated. I'll put this in the oven and see it again in about 30 minutes. I actually got this out about five minutes early. It's been going for 25 minutes instead of 30. So let's check it and make sure it's done. It is nice and brown on top. It looks like it is baked all the way through. Oh my gosh. Okay, seriously, it smells amazing. Let's go ahead and get it plated. All right, it is time to try this. It smells so good. It's like really cheesy. So let's take a little bite of a little bit of everything and see how it is. It is super, super hot. Okay, that is good. I'm glad that I added the other spices to it. The garlic powder, onion powder, and the pepper. This is really good. It's somewhat of a non-traditional um, chicken pot pie because the biscuit mix is baked on top. So, I have to say I put I uh, cut this into four different portions just because of the calories. If it's too much, you can divide it into six servings. However, this will be enough for me and John to enjoy for dinner and then have for leftovers the next day. Honestly, that was really good. I'm kind of surprised at the biscuit mix. I, you know, it kind of reminded me of the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay biscuits, as I had said. 
I thought it was really good. I'd probably buy them again. I think I may have taken the last one there, so I'll have to see if they have any more. If your Dollar Tree has them, please go buy one and try it because it is amazing. Now, I've read a couple of articles and a few of you have told me, but Dollar Tree apparently is going to be increasing their prices very soon. They've been strictly $1 for the longest time, but in some areas I know they were testing raising their prices to $1.25 for everything. I thought that was only in select markets, but apparently it is now going to happen to all the Dollar Tree stores maybe within the next few months. I'm not quite sure. So be aware of that. Some of the stuff that's a dollar right now might still be a good deal at $1.25, but other stuff most likely not. So please watch out for that. I will still continue to do Dollar Tree videos because I love going there and seeing what I can come up with. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do so right now and like this video and ring that bell. That way you will never miss another Dollar Tree meal or my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.